okay welcome so this will be a comparison between my current favorite earphone ever which is the ibeso it00 versus almost my second favorite earphone currently as well the the carlin the sorry the wheezy carlin he01 uh, a lot of people have asked for the review as well as maybe ask me to compare it to the moondrop area but well, let's first start with this uh, before I get my hands on uh, the Moondrop area or something uh, later to compare with this too. So what what you get here is uh, a very good build quality between the two. I don't think I would pick any of the the two. In terms of build quality, I would rate two of them as very good. Yeah, both eighty dollar earphones individually. That's minus the extra great accessories that they have on them. Um, and they are wonderfully built. Oh, I would prefer the the Ibeso. I, I like the Ibeso better. It fits my ears better. Stays in my ears because of the shape and really does not fall off at all. It's just it's a wonderfully designed earphone. Fits me without like it fits me like a glove. The Carlin HEO one took me a while for me to get uh, the perfect. Uh, it, it took me a while. To get uh, the perfect, uh, it took me a while to get the perfect seal. But when I did get the perfect seal, uh, it worked and uh, it, it did it did its job well. And uh, honestly, I didn't really have much of a problem getting great sound out of the ear tip that I. Although the ear tip I ended up using was from another IEM. Um, I understand the ear tip it came with didn't work but one good thing that I love about the curling uh, ear tips is that it works perfectly well with my iBeso because the reference ear tip is what is on the iBeso so uh, it, it may not work well as a default ear tip for the earphone it was designed to come with but it works very well for another earphone that I love so much so uh, it's a good thing overall now in terms of uh in terms of sound quality i immediately will pick the ibeso it00 because of what i want and that is massive bass with impact clean output and uh with a lot of pressure uh without uh, subwoofer pressure i know i want that i'm a bass head to a degree but I will still explain why I feel the Carlin still compares favorably with it and where the Carlin is better than the Ibeso and you will make your decision because I love the two earphones, my love is split between the two uh, but at the end of the day if they ask me to go for one it is going to be the Ibeso but I will still keep the Carlin as my very close second uh, because of what it can do. Now in terms of bass easily the ibeso wins the ibeso has a lot of authority a lot of slam a lot of air now that has to do with the tuning and the driver the type of dynamic driver that in that is in the using a graphene uh the dynamic driver so it has a lot of uh energy to spare especially in that low re register it's a sub bass monster it digs very low goes as low as 20 hertz with ease as it doesn't distort when it's going that low, especially for movies rap music edm it is very good the the heo one doesn't have that base but what the, the heo one has is speed in its base it doesn't have a lot of basic the base is is neutralish uh in its tonality but it has uh speed so the speed on it is very very fast um so it doesn't have that slow uh drowning you know one thing with a lot of bass is that you can have a lot of bass but you may be subjugated to to being slow because of uh the way the bass lingers on because from the sub bass to the mid bass it it lingers on for a while before uh it, it moves on to the next frequency so it takes time but the the heo one is not like that the heo one is very fast uh, very fast it's very linear i like it especially for music generally because uh it presents a very detailed bass response 
that is good from every of my music that I have. And yes, it may not have that authority, but it's good enough for me. Now, in terms of mids, I will give the IT01 the mids because the mids is fuller than the HGO1. The, the HGO1 is lean in its mids. It's not recessed, but it's lean. Like the mids are, are thinner, like they are thinner. You can, the vocals are slightly, not by much, but they're a bit slightly thinner uh that i want it to be you know so i need my my mates a little bit uh full like thick uh because what it does is that when i'm listening to a movie i can uh i can hear the audio very well in itself uh, but it does the vocals of who is um acting on the screen I, I want to be able to hear the vocals in a very full manner i don't want it lean uh, uh leaned out but one thing the HEO one has is that because it's lean, it tends to be a, a very neutral in its uh, presentation. So you can use the HEO one, or you can get away with using the HEO one for your mixing and mastering. It's not a design for that, but it's because of the natural tuning and lean presentation. You can use it for that. As for treble, I would easily give it to the HEO one. The HEO one is better in treble. Uh, the reason why is because it is tuned to be a bit bright. The treble extends better than the IBS or IT01. Sorry, zero, sorry, not zero, IT00. Zero, zero. The, the treble is very, very extended, especially when it's called for. It is not harsh. Uh, one thing I love about these two earphones is that none of them are harsh, regardless of the fact that the Wheezy Kellen HEO1 is bright. It's never harsh. It's, I've tried sibilant tracks. It is not sibilant in any regard. It is good enough for what I do. Like literally, it is good enough. So uh, I don't get sibilance whatsoever from the HEO one. So if you will hear, oh, it's bright sibilance. No, there is almost zero sibilance from it. It tries to accentuate that that uh, 4K, 6K region at times, but. I don't know the, the tuning, I don't know how they tune it, but it kind of like cuts off when it's trying to do that surveillance thing. Uh, but you can tell it's a bright set. Uh, for treble, I will give it to the uh, HEO one. The treble, I like the treble, treble a lot better uh, for, for, for my music. And maybe not for my movies because I don't need that much treble extension for movies. Movies, I need bass and mids. Uh, more than I need treble, but uh, I would give the Carlin HEO1 the treble. Now, as for sound stage, I would easily give it to the Carlin HEO1. The treble, the, the the sound stage is larger uh, there because of that tuning, that that bright tuning. So it tends to uh, have more air in the upper frequencies, so you kind of get a wider sound sound stage when you're playing content overall so i like the heo one for that uh, in terms of uh, usability what i do now is that i have separated the two because my love for the two is very high the heo one now is my daily driver for wireless audio for music while the ibeso goes for my movies strictly uh, I still use the Ibiza once in a while for music if I just want to hear how impactful the low frequency is. But uh, I separate it in such a way that, that I get more more use out of the two because uh, I don't want to dump one because both of them are good. So the HEO one goes for my music and uh, wireless music generally, and it sounds incredible, really incredible. It's paired with the KBK K sorry S one. Bluetooth cable is a wonderful cable. I'll leave the links to the cables. Uh, while the Ibeso is using the KBR limpid silver uh, cable as well, so both are using wonderful cables. Uh, I love the KB accessories they are running with, and they are wonderful. Honestly, yes, they are extra cost, but um, I think that is good for if you really want to get the best out of uh the setup honestly so this is the comparison between the two favorite earphones that i have right now uh more earphones on the way i would probably soon get my hands on the t95 t5 um, 
other earphones are, are going to come to the channel um, you know shipping to my country takes time so these are things that make me review things a little bit late compared to other reviewers but uh, i will bring you guys more reviews uh, so follow me on youtube subscribe like our content i'm going to see you guys next time